Many people associate bees with causing them pain or being pests, but what if we didn't have these creatures? What would be the impact on our environment? My name is Lyric Tully, and my partner Sophie Barnhorst and I set out on a quest to find out why bees were disappearing. It was really challenging to find a beekeeper. We realized that beekeeping isn't something that is talked about openly. But we got in contact with Jeff Kibsbolton, who is a live bee removal expert as well as a local beekeeper. Mr. Kibsbolton helped us to understand the life of a bee, and once we began our initial research, we realized just how important these creatures are. When we visited Mr. Kibsbolton's bee farm, we both were afraid. Having swarms of bees engulf us was really scary. Okay, I'm a little freaked out right now. And um, there are bees around me and I've walked away from the hive the boxes and I just don't want them to crawl up my suit. Okay, now I'm gonna walk back. Gotta be brave. <laughs> but after a while, we grew to be one with the bees. The queen bee is the only bee that lays eggs. The queen bee lays up to two million eggs in her lifetime. When the eggs hatch, they turn into larvae, and when the larva gets big enough, the worker bee caps over the cell, and that's when the larva starts to grow into an adult bee. Each larva is fed royal jelly. Royal jelly is secreted from a gland in the worker bee's head, and the chosen queen bee gets fed large quantities of the jelly. The egg of a bee, which develops within a beehive, is referred to as brood. Male bees are called drones. Their sole purpose is to mate with the queen bee, and all the worker bees are female. We thought the male and female roles were very interesting. Crops that are in the U.S. now are here because honeybees were brought over from Europe. Bees pollinate approximately one-third of the crops in the U.S. Honeybees, in particular, pollinate around a hundred of the flowering food crops such as cucumbers, nuts, avocados, soybeans, apples, citrus fruits, and berries. In essence, all flowering plants need bees. Farmers depend on bees, and without them, they would get poor or very little crops. Last year, a commercial beekeeper from Kings Canyon National Park, which is south of Yosemite National Park, lost 700 out of 1,000 of his hives. In the last months of 2006 and into 2007, more than 25% of the U.S.'s 2.4 million bee colonies were lost to colony collapse disorder, also known as CCD. This means that the U.S. lost tens of billions of bees in that time. The loss is projected to have the U.S. lose $8 to $12 billion, but the cost of CCD could be far more devastating. Naturally, some hives die out, so when a beekeeper opens up his or her hive in the spring and finds no honey and all the bees at the bottom dead, that is something that happens naturally because of the lack of nutrition. You know colony collapse disorder has taken place when a beekeeper opens up his or her hive in the spring and there are a few bees, maybe 20, and no dead bees at the bottom, but there is still honey there. When bees are sick, they leave the hive to die because they don't want to run the risk of infecting the other bees. CCD has impacted over 35 states in the U.S., and within a span of six months, 80% of the U.S.'s bees have vanished. 
Some researchers say that CCD was brought on by an AIDS-like virus, the use of pesticides, or overworking land. The almond growers in San Joaquin Valley were paying around $115 per hive to rent bees, and at times bees were trucked in for three to four weeks at a time. If you exterminate a colony of bees, the honey will be poisonous. That honey will attract other bees and they will come to that poisonous hive and maybe take the honey back to their hive and feed it to their queen and their workers. So what have we learned from all of this? We both feel that we are a lot more aware of how special bees are and we both realize that these tiny creatures are incredibly important and vital to our world. We never really understood how the food that we eat gets to be the way that it is. We now understand that bees play such an important role on pollinating our food. If colony collapse disorder were to take over every hive in the world, we wouldn't have the foods we've become so used to always having. Fruits, vegetables, nuts, and flowers would not be as available as they are now. Hand pollination would be our future. The importance of bees cannot be ignored. Thank <laughs> you.